So Stuart, uh, ultimately a very disappointing afternoon for us. Uh, I guess it's not exactly the way you, you planned the game to pan out. No, it certainly isn't. Um, to to get beat by that margin is not like us. It's hard one to take. I, I, they're an exceptional side at this level, there's no question of that. What John and Paul have done there is outstanding and, and I, I can't see anybody beating them this season. Uh, so. Credit to them what they've turned around there at, at Falkirk under John and, and Paul is, is immense. So, uh, firstly, congratulations for them for winning the league, uh, which I think they've been worthy about the whole season. Uh, if we go back over the years that we've played Falkirk, we've been a match for them at times and beaten them on a, several occasions. But today, you can see the golf in the two teams. That aside, uh, I thought the performance again was poor, defensively very poor. Uh, and it's obviously a concern for us when you concede seven goals uh, within a game. It's there's, there's certain mistakes here that, that that we can certainly look to address. Uh, but ultimately, Montrose's season will not be defined by uh, any results against Falkirk. It'll be defined in the next five games, which is up to us now to go and pick the boys up. Uh, we need to we'll have a look at it and see what we can do to change it or freshen it uh, regarding going into which is now a massive game. Uh, next Saturday down at Edinburgh so we'll look to do that this week we'll get the boys back in on Tuesday uh, last week was very disappointing as well so that's two on the bounce and we got myself in an unbelievable position uh, I think it's six wins out of seven uh, but one point and nine is not good enough and we all know that if that's the form you continue now you'll, you'll certainly not be threatening the top four so we need to address it as quickly as we can we'll try and start doing that on Tuesday night Thank you, Stuart. Cheers Brian